everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine, and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's inside of my ice skating bag or my luggage bag. I recently did a video on what was inside of my kissing card bag, and I decided to show you guys what was inside of the bag that holds my skates and everything that I need for skating. So without further ado, let's get started to see what's inside. Here is my ice skating bag. Here's what it looks like. I've had this bag for about two years. I got it last time I got a new pair of skates, not my new ones, but my older pair of skates when they were new. So it's about two years old. And here's what it looks like. It's rose gold, because I really like the color rose gold. And here's a handle on it. I want to say that this, like the brand of the bag is called iFly, and I thought it was really cool because I had ice flies last and like ice fly, I fly, almost the same thing. But it has like black details on it. On the side, I have these two hanging keychains. One of them is a fuzzy pink pom pom, and the other one is like this Christmas mouse beanie boo. And I know it's not Christmas, but like I really like Christmas, and I mean it's coming up really soon, just like a hundred something more days left. Um, but it's adorable, and I just always keep it on my bag. Then on the front, I have this ice skater decal, and it's doing a hair cutter, and then under it, it says Jasmine, my name. Um, so if you guys ever see this bag somewhere, it, you'll probably know that it's me. Also, on the like it has two zippers. This one, which I keep my mouse on, is like I never open it because it's just like an expander, and I don't use it. But then the other one is the one that holds my ice skates and this is the bigger department so now let's open up my bag. So here is the first department. Here's what it looks like. I have my ice skates in here. This is the main important thing that I have in my bag and like I use these every day I go skating. So here is what they look like. My new pianos and I have my little koala soakers on them because you always have to have soakers on your skates if they're in your bag so they don't, so your blades don't rust. And I just keep my guards right neck, like right where my skates are, so like I always know where they are. Then also on the side, I have this one pocket right here, and I'm gonna open it up for you guys to see what's inside of it. So first thing I have in here is double-sided tape, and I use this like when I go to competition since I don't use all the way over the boot tights because my coach says that it makes my feet look huge since I already have really big feet. So I just use the tights that like go halfway, like probably down till here maybe. So I just use this and then like I wrap it around my skate and then I put my tight over it so like they don't move. So I have that. The next thing I have in here are these bandages. Here's what it looks like. I just have them in this like thing that holds them. It's pretty normal. <laughs> I have these, and these are like these bigger bandages. I don't know what you call them, but yeah, here's what they look like, and then there's some more bandages in there. So I have that. Then I have another thing of double-sided tape because I sometimes run out of it by accident in competitions, and that's really bad, so I have some extra just in case. And then the final thing I have in here is my little baby tiny screwdriver because it looks like it's so cute. And I use this if I have to like tighten my skates. I don't use it that often because my skates don't really come untightened, but I have it just in case if it does happen or if my friend needs to tighten her skate. So I'm like really quickly, maybe at a competition or like a show if my coach isn't there because my coach is the one that usually mounts our skates. But I always have a screwdriver just in case. So that is what I have in that zipper pocket. Here I am, no it's been a while. I was in denial about my love. So that is all, everything I have in this side of my bag. Now let's move on to this side. So then on this side, on the front I have this pocket and inside of it I have like two main things that I use. So first I have two towels. This one is the one that I mainly use. It's just a plain white one. And then this one is one that I got at Orange Blossom at a competition. And 
I just haven't taken it out of my bag, so I just keep that in there, but I usually just use the other one. So next, I have these, like, other things that I use, like, almost all the time. First thing I have are these tights, and they have, like, these gel pads in them, and I have to wear these. I do wear tights when I skate, like, right here. I wear tights. I just, tights. <laughs> But I put these on because I have to wear these because I have like this bump on my foot right here and it hurts so bad if it rubs against the side of my boot. So like I have to put this on and it doesn't hurt as bad. But if I put it like this and don't have anything holding it in place, it's just going to move all over my boot and that's going to feel weird. So I just put the tight over it so it doesn't move. And then the other thing is a knee brace really dirty I know but I use this when um because my knee hurts sometimes like really bad so I put this on and it helps my knee it doesn't hurt as bad if I put it on but it's not like life-changing but it just doesn't hurt as much so that's why I use that so well, now let's move on to the last se last section in my bag so here in this section I have my butt pads here they are. I wear these like pretty much every time I skate except for at competitions because I, since I'm working on like triples and stuff, um, it hurts really bad when I fall so if I wear it, it doesn't hurt as bad. So if you guys don't wear a butt pad and you're working on like higher jumps and it hurts when you fall, I would recommend getting a butt pad. Then I have knee pads. I don't usually wear these but sometimes I do. Here's what they look like. They're like these things that you just slide on your knee and they're just like knee pads. I don't wear these all the time, but when I do, it's usually because like I'm falling really hard and I need something to not hit my knee. Cause for me, it's a really bad habit when I fall. I like fall and then like when I come down, I like hit my knee to the ice. So it's really weird and that's not good, but I do that sometimes. So those are the two things that I usually use. And then, Next I have my muscle roller. Here's what it looks like. It's red and it has like these circles on it. And like what you do is after skating or like before skating if my muscles hurt, I just roll out them with this thingy. I don't know what it's called. It's called a muscle roller, I believe. But yeah. Next I have my jump rope. Here it is. I just keep it tied up like this because it doesn't get tangled if I do it like this. And then it has gold handles. It's like all ripped, <laughs> like right here. But it's okay because it's still functional. So that is my jump rope. And I use this for off ice. Um, then I have my spinner. I'm trying to show you guys like all my off ice things. I have my spinner. Here it is. It's just pink and like it spins. So I use that. And then I think that the last off ice thing I have in here are my rubber bands. Here they are. I keep them in a Ziploc bag. And like, they're um, rubber bands that have like different, um, what is it called? Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like resist bands or something. If you guys know what they're called, just write them in the comments below. But I use these um, to like work on my landing positions and um, my arm. Okay, so then I have these two headbands. I have this one, which says Pianchang 2018. And this one's just gray. So that's what that looks like. And then the other one I have is this black one, and it says Live Love Ski on it, and it's like sparkly, and it has an ice skate on it. I don't usually wear these, but I have them just in case if my ears get cold. Then the other two things I have in my bag are two pairs of gloves. I have a purple one and a black one, and these are just backup gloves just in case if anything happens to my other ones. Then I have some tape and I use this like 
on things. I don't use it as much now because I've gotten used to it. But when I was younger, I used this tape on my fingers, like when I was doing like sashes or bilans or something, because it would hurt my fingers. But I don't use this that much now. But I have it in my bag just in case if I need it. Then I have a lint roller because I need it for if my clothes have like lint on it or something. It's pretty dirty because I think the bag, my bag, is <laughs> something stuck on it. But I have this in my bag just in case if I need to like not have lint on anything. I have this thing. Okay, I'm trying to explain this, but it's like a mesh bag and it has like these scent things, these balls that are scented, and I keep this in my bag to make it hopefully smell a lot better. It doesn't smell that much better, but it helps a little. Okay, um, then I have this in my bag. It's all, um, it's spray, and it smells like, it's like a Hawaiian scent, and like I spray it in my bag like that, so it smells better. I just have a lot of things that I try to use to make my bag smell better because my bag smells pretty bad and I'm trying to make it not smell that bad but I have this. Then I have perfume. This is my favorite perfume scent like ever. It's from Bath and Body Works and it's called Black Raspberry Vanilla and it smells so good. I love it so much so like you guys should go get this perfume. <laughs> Next in my bag I have a hockey puck. And I use this on ice for exercises. If you guys have done it before, like you take your topic and put it in the hockey puck and like you do swizzles and stuff with it. And I really like those exercises, they're a lot of fun. So I keep this in my bag for when I do those. Next, I have this like hand sanitizer spray. And you just spray it on your hand and like rub your hands together. And it's almost like hand sanitizer, just in some like liquid form. I have a whistle in here, um, just in case if I need a whistle and I like, <laughs> you just blow it. It's like from a boating safety course, but I have a whistle. Then I have some actual hand sanitizer and this one is called Shell Vibrate. I can't read that. It's like really weird brain, but it smells really good and I use this for like before I eat something and I just put it on my hands. I also have some in my kiss and cry bag, so if that runs out, I put this in it. And then the last thing I have in there is my idea, um, idea bag with all my idea things in it. So I have my idea passport, and then in here I have these like elastics that you're supposed to put on your boot when you tie your skates. I don't use these, but I'm probably going to use them for my competitions. I have an extra pair of laces, which like you always need. And then I have my lace tightener. I don't use it, but I have it if I need it. So that is everything I have in that pocket. So now I'll put everything back. What do you guys have in your skating bag that I don't have in my bag? Anyways, also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!